And we're here once again. Throughout the course of my YouTube Let's Playing life, it seems like we've been at this title screen about 17 times. We were just here, actually, I think, with Naranja. Of course, we all know now that that didn't really work out, but... Yeah, here we are once again. I don't know why exactly I'm showing this off, because this is actually a game that I'm not really starting over, but rather continuing after I'm not exactly sure how long. This is, of course, Pokemon Flora Sky, as you have seen in the title of the video by now, but... Yeah, um, let's just go ahead and skip this, because, uh, well, we've seen this a bunch of times already. You know what, let's just let it play out, because it's cool nonetheless, but... Anyway, uh, Pokemon Flora Sky. For those of you that are new to the channel and have never heard of this on my channel before, I will definitely right now be putting up an annotation of some sort, actually as soon as this right here ends up. Um, so you can check out the playlist. The playlist will be right now on the screen. Click on that. Uh, because this is actually a playthrough that I have already done a couple of months ago, but I never did the post game of. And I actually really, really enjoyed this hack. Naranja was kind of... Well, we know how that ended up, but... This one I actually really enjoyed, and a lot of people have always wanted me to do the post game of it. So if you want to check out the entire full playlist, the original playthrough, I really recommend you do so that you can catch up, because... We're doing the post game of this, and I don't know, it's kind of weird because it's been so long, but hopefully that doesn't, you know, screw with us that much. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and press start to continue. That's a YouTube channel, I think. Yeah, let's go. Here we are, back in our hometown, where I'm gonna do a little bit of a recap. So, just like any normal Pokemon game, we got eight badges, we beat the champion, which in this game was Cynthia. I guess that's a little spoiler for those of you that haven't watched it, but... You know, I don't know. This game is actually really cool. Um, I'm going to show off the Pokedex, actually, because there are Pokemon from all the generations. And as you see, the sprites actually look really good for all of them. I actually chose to go with Infernape. I have no idea how I have a Piplup, but apparently I do. Um, I'll show off my team afterwards, but just showing off a few of the sprites. As you see, there is Pokemon from all five generations, actually. We have Maractus and Petlil here. And actually, all the sprites are really good. Like, I feel like this is one of the most polished hacks I've played. Um, same with Light Platinum. and Light Platinum, I actually did the entire hack all the way through. Um, but yeah, it's a giant, massive Pokedex here. Let's actually just speed this up. And look at that. How many Pokemon are in this? 375 going all the way to Meetang. Don't know why Metagross isn't there. That's a little weird, but yeah. Anyway, um, just a little recap of my team here. We're going to have the All-Stars that defeated the champion. Uh, we have Clap the Flygon first off with the attacks Crunch, Rock Tomb, Dragon Claw, Earthquake. Cassiopeia, the Arbok, Headbutt, Toxic, Iceberg, and Iron Tail. Padzi, the Ludicolo, with Nature Power, Giga Drain, Dive, and Surf. Wukong, the Infernape. You see that name there? Wukong, and, and then Cassiopeia. I don't know where those come from. Those are maybe reference. I don't, I don't know. There's the moves for it, though. Uh, Karen, the Ampharos, with Strength, Thunder Wave, Thunderbolt, and Thunder. And finally, Ruffles, the Silly Willy Braviary, with Thrash, Air Slash, Psychic, and Fly. And with that, we are back in Pokemon Flora Sky. I know a lot of you wanted to see this way, way before, and some of you might still be thinking, what the heck is going on as we have an orange Nintendo GameCube here? That's, I mean, I guess something something orange had to remain. I guess we also have an orange clock, or at least it looks orange from here. I guess that's more yellow. Maybe I'm colorblind. I don't know. But we're continuing our adventures in Flora Sky, and hopefully we actually know what's going on because... As I said, it's been a while since I played this. I did watch through some of my old videos, so I have a pretty good idea of where we're at. Um, but basically, we just became the champion, just like, you know, any other Pokemon game. And now, we're back home. So here's Mr. April, who's apparently been sleeping with our mom, keeping her company. Our, our mom is one of those ladies that, you know, has the sailors come back to them every once in a while. I don't even know, but I remember him having some sort of weird accent of some sort, some sort of foreign thing. He looks Scottish. So I'm gonna try to do a Scottish, uh, hey, it's Moe's, it's been a while since I saw you, but you look stronger somehow, that's the impression I'll get, <laughs> yes, my ship has been finished, and I'll have something for you, please take my gift, young champion. Was that even Scottish? I don't know how to do a Scottish, but, eh, whatever. You can take the ship from Chopo, Sotaeus, and you can go to many new places. That is great, mister. Thanks for visiting our house, Mr. April, can you stay here and have a meal with us? Oh, see, look at that. I, I bet this is our dad. Like, secretly, this right here is our dad. Unless Forest Guy is one of the games where our dad is actually one of the gym leaders, but I don't remember. This is a hack of Emerald, by the way, if that wasn't clear already. Um, we have the little character from Emerald, so... Thank you so much. You really are a kind woman, but I'm so sorry I have to go right away. Alright, see you later, Mr. April. 
What a pity that you can't stay with us longer. Well, I guess you're going to start our new adventure and leave here again. <sighs> oh, look at that. The TV's poltergeist going on right here. TV's turning on on its own. What's going on? We bring you this emergency news flash. In various Hoenn locales, there have been reports of a... Uh, colored Pokemon in flight. The identity of this Pokemon is currently unknown. We now return you to the regular program. All right. Did you catch that? What color did the announcer say? And of course, if you guys don't know what this is, if you choose red, you will have a Latias, and if you choose blue, you will have a Latios. I'm gonna go ahead and choose blue because I think Latios is cooler. That's basically it. But now that we head out of our house, or if we head out of our house, we have this little thing happening. Look at that, Latios flying by and, oh god, mysterious man. Wonder what voice you should have, maybe something mysterious. Mmm, the Eon Pokemon. It seems to like this person. Who are you? Well, I see, a new champion. What a surprise. Wow, this is actually like the first game where they acknowledge the fact that I'm the champion. And that guy had a ponytail. It looks like a backpack from behind, though. That's weird. So this is your hometown. Not like my town. It's peaceful. That ticket. With it, you can go farther than any place you've ever want before. Maybe you'll visit the Challenge Islands like other people. I hope we will not meet again, but my feeling seems to go on against that. Anyways, forget our meeting today. Well, that sure was mysterious. I guess that's why they call him the Mysterious Man. See, that's his name, so. All right, let's take a look at the map of this region. Uh, once again, we're going down a trip down memory lane here because I recognize some of the names of that, but at the same time, it was very weird. So we have the forest entrance right there. I think that's a place you can fly to, but it doesn't show up on the map. Um, Puel City, Mystic Town. <laughs> I don't even know half of this crap. The Pokemon League is apparently here. I didn't even remember that, but... Yeah, this is one of the few games where they actually acknowledge the fact that you're the champion. That's kind of cool. I think we're supposed to go to Teya City, so I'm gonna... Oh, there it is. Alright, so Teya City or Charpos Island. Either of those will actually will be able to fly from, or um, sail from. So this one... Or this one right here. We can choose either one and we can set sail for the Grand Line in search of One Piece. The treasure that will make our dreams come true. But yeah, we can either go, I think this is the Challenge Islands. Um, and then over here there's another area. Well, the Festa Zone we've already been to before, I'm pretty sure. Um, there is actually a guide, like a walkthrough for this. However, it's in Vietnamese, so... I don't know, for today's episode, I'm not going to look too much into the guide. We're just going to kind of improvise and do a little bit of reminiscing. And as I said, just explain what we're doing even because, yeah, it's been a while since I did this. So let's just go ahead and go to... Actually, before we do that, um, you're going to want to buy a Harbor Mail here because... You know what? Just trust me in this. Just trust me that you're going to want to buy a Harbor Mail. So let's go ahead and purchase one right here. This isn't uh, how to get to Naval Rock or anything like that, so don't think... It's me pulling your leg again. This one, this one's for real, guys. I ain't pulling your leg with this one. Just buy a Harbor Mail, trust me here. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and fly to Teya City, uh, just to reminisce a little bit about this game. As you see, the graphics are really, really well polished. I don't know, I really enjoyed playing through this game, so... As I said uh, about 20 times already, I highly recommend that you go back and watch this playthrough. I pretty much already had my voice that I have now, I guess. I think I did that only a couple of months ago. Uh, maybe three or four Let's Plays ago, so... It's pretty much the same quality, I guess, of narration. So if you want to go check that out, I would recommend that you do. I know it's kind of hard to watch an old playthrough, but I mean, if you bookmark the, th the playlist or something and you just watch them, um, I would really highly appreciate if you do, you know, suck so, because I don't know. I feel like that was one of my better playthroughs, I guess, as far as that goes. And I don't even know where I'm going. I'm confusing myself here, but I think we're supposed to find the shipyard, which should be down here and set sail for faraway lands, but yeah, definitely would recommend this hack. Um, it's probably in my top three. Light Platinum is also up there. I'm not sure on the third one just yet. Uh, maybe something that I played a long time ago. Definitely not Naranja. I don't know, I still like Naranja though. I'd put it in my top 10 or something. Not sure. I guess because I've only played like 10, but uh, yeah. Check out the playlist. I, I don't know how many times I'm going to say that. Because I know that there's a lot more new viewers, and you guys might be lost with this playthrough. But I promise that after I'm done with this post game, I don't think it's too long. It might be a little bit. So this might take us um, maybe the month of June. But then by the end of that, I'll start up a new playthrough. Maybe actually let you guys do a little bit of picking with a new Pokemon hack that I should play. But we have a couple of options here of where to go. We have Golden City, the Battle Frontier, and Challenge Island. Um, the Battle Frontier, I'm not sure if it's changed actually. So let's just go there first. Because I want to see if it's actually changed or not. 
uh, from the original Pokemon Emerald, but you may have noticed the graphics of this game. A lot of it looks really cool. Oh my goodness! Hello, Scott! Well, ha hi Mose Mose! Something's come up, so I have to disembark, but I'm glad to see you. Congratulations, League Champion! There's a place I'd like to invite someone like you. It's the Battle Frontier! What's the place like? You'll understand when you see it. Okay, Mose, I'll be waiting for you at the Battle Frontier! Oh, can I leave too? I, I don't really want to be on this boat. Oh, God. Well, that sucks. I guess we're stuck on a boat for now. Oh, well. I guess we do have something to do for this episode. I guess we are setting sail for the Battle Frontier. We actually get to do some battles, so that's pretty cool. I hope these guys aren't too high level. And I hope they don't hit each other too hard. If you get that one, leave a like if you get that reference. Because uh, maybe you do, maybe you don't. Hey, look at that. That's cute. Gardevoir, Garde... Gallade, Gall Gallade, Gardevoir. Yep, that's a cute little couple of Pokemon or something. Um, I don't think I have anything. Actually, we have Crunch, and we have... You know what? Let's just headbutt it, because... Okay, one hit kill. Never mind. Cassiopeia, of course. Um, I guess in this playthrough, I tried to go for, like, rather unused Pokemon, so we ended up having an Arbok here. I guess... Uh, what are my other Pokemon? Ampharos is pretty overused, I guess. Uh, Cassiopeia is probably my least used Pokemon. Ludicolo, I don't see too often. Infernape, just because it was our starter. And then Braviary, I think, was like an event Pokemon in this game. So, I did as always try to go for like, I guess, unused Pokemon. Or basically stuff that I at least haven't used in other playthroughs. So, I don't know. I think it, this is one of my favorite teams, actually, that I've used. And I don't think I put any of these guys in my all-star team. Um, I think I put Padsy, though. I'm not certain on that. I don't remember. But Padsy's definitely one of the way, way back in the day characters. It was actually not even originally my Pokemon. It was Spirit of Steel, which was a YouTube Pokemon playthrough or a way long time ago. So, so the, oh, can't even talk. Those of you that have been around for a really long time, not even like way past when I did originally Flora Sky, um, you might know Spirit of Steel because I guess we used to, he had a forum way back in the day and that's how, like how my entire like YouTube story started. I think I talked about it a little bit in Draw My Life, so yeah. Basically it was originally his Pokemon. And then because he was no longer on YouTube, I guess I decided to do a little bit of an homage. And since then, Padsy has been on many of my teams just because I really like Ludicolo. He's like, I guess he's grown on me. He's, just, he's a giant Mexican pineapple. I don't know. He's just a funny Pokemon. And I like it. So, yeah, let us continue to battle. And the, I guess the lettuce is back. Because I always used to say let us, but I said it like lettuce. So, let us continue to battle more of these trainers as we gain some more levels. And look at this guy acting suspicious all up in the TM50. I guess that might be spit up. Oh no, it's overheat. I thought it would be spit up because it looked like he was puking and he was saying he's doing something suspicious, but it is overheat. Uh, something that we can probably teach to Infernape, but I'm not sure if I will because Infernape. I mean, all of my Pokemon actually have really good move pools already, so not sure if I'm gonna do that. And I'm sorry, but RPGs usually you don't knock on the door, you just kind of walk in. And look at that, we have. Oh, you know what? Oh, I guess we can't do Seviper Zangus. I was gonna do that. I always think Zangus is half poison type. Is it actually? I think it's just normal, because that earthquake would have been super effective otherwise, but yeah, I was gonna do like Seviper versus Zangus, but then I realized that I had Arbok, not Seviper, so that kind of sucks. Um, I remember way back when Generation 3 came out, everyone thought that Seviper would be an evolution to Arbok, and then it was like, nope, it's just a standalone Pokemon, so that was a little weird. Actually, Seviper never really looked like an evolution to me, to Arbok. It just looked... I don't know, they looked like they were both stage 2 Pokemon, I guess. And I'm gonna go ahead and switch Wukong up first so he can gain some levels, because Clap is actually getting pretty low in the HP. Speaking of Clap, I'm pretty sure that was one of the Pokemon I originally used in Naranha. So look at that, even more references to the playthrough that never was. Actually, it was never was, but clearly it, I don't know. The game just wasn't, it's an old game. I think that's mainly why it didn't feel so polished and uh, was so glitchy and whatnot, so... I don't know, maybe someday I will go back and finish that, though I have technically already finished it way back when I was a little boy. So if you really, really want to watch all of Naranja, you always have that to watch. I wouldn't recommend it because I sounded like a little girl, but, you know, everyone starts off somewhere, so if you, uh, if you don't mind little girl voices, then I guess you can watch that. Puberty hit me pretty hard, apparently. I've seen a lot of comments saying that, actually, um, in, like, my old videos, so... Let's go into Ruffles here. I think he's got more than Fly. Yep, Air Slash here. That's going to be a one-hit kill on Machamp there. Um, but yeah, this is one of the games where I guess I never finished. And I one of the games that I actually really do want to finish because... One, it's a Pokemon hack. 
Two, it's not a console game. I know that I've never finished console games, and it's kind of a curse of mine. Um, like Ratchet and Clank and a couple of other console games I've done, I never finish them just because, I don't know, it's not really that I lose interest. I really don't know what it is about console games. I just never really feel like finishing them, and it kind of sucks, but at the same time, I don't know. If I, I don't, like, one thing that I've always gone by with my channel, and I've been meaning to do, like, an update about this, about, like, my unfinished playthroughs and whatnot, is if it's really a game where I don't just really didn't like it, I started it, and I feel bad that I don't finish it because I know some people really like the series or whatnot. Um, but if it's a game that I really don't like, I would rather not do a game if I don't like it. Like, I feel like my commentary will probably not be as good and whatnot, so I'd rather keep it to a game where I'm legitimately, like, interested in playing it rather than, you know, just do it because I gotta finish the playthrough of it. So, I don't know. I've been meaning to do kind of an update about that as well as other sort of, you know, playthroughs that I haven't finished in general, so... Um, I think we're supposed to find a bed. I don't know which one is ours, though, so let's actually ask this young man over here, as we're actually almost done with the episode here, so let's see. You can rest up in your cabin, number two. Okay, well, I guess it is this one here. Is this number two? Yep, cabin number two. So here we have our bed. I, yeah, let's just go ahead and take a, a little nap. It's going to heal our Pokemon, and I think that will about wrap up. Yep, the fairy is ready, and we made it to the battle frontier. So as I said... I kind of wanted to take it slow. I know there's a lot of legendaries to catch in this playthrough, in the post game of this game. Um, but for now, I just kind of, like always, are you serious? We still haven't gotten to land? Okay, well, I guess I'm just going to keep on sleeping, even though it made the noise that we were already there. All right, there we go. We've made land in the battle frontier. All right, so. Yeah, I always like to do the routes and whatnot, like the new routes, all the trainers and stuff that there are. Oh, my goodness. Ah, oh, nostalgia is hitting me hard right now. I remember Pokemon Emerald so hard, I was in like 5th grade, and I just, ah, oh, it's been such a long time since I've been to the Battle Frontier, man. I don't know, I just always love the music. When you first enter it, you're like, oh my god, this is it, the Battle Frontier, we've made it, and we get the Frontier Pass. And so far, it looks really similar to, oh, hello, Mr. Scott, once again you are here. It's great to see you here, it really is. I hope you'll take your time and explore everywhere. Naturally, I hope you'll also experience the pure essence of battling. I also have my quarters here, so feel free to visit me if you have time. Alright, Mr. Scott, thank you for everything. This has been amazing. But, uh, here we are in the Battle Frontier! And I guess it mainly looks the same, I... I guess, yep, the Battle Factory is still right here. Um, the tiles are very, very different, though. Like, look at this, it looks like a giant layer cake, like a vanilla cheese cake or something. That's weird, it literally looks like a layered cake. That's... I don't know. The tiles are definitely different though, but I really just like the graphics of this game in general. It uses some heart gold, soul silver stuff, it uses some original tiles too, and all the spriting was really good. So overall, this is definitely probably like my uh, top three. I don't know if I like this one or light platinum better, but most of everything here seems to look the same. So yeah, we made it to the Battle Frontier, so next time uh, we will probably go back and head to one of the other new areas, or... I don't know. I do definitely have to translate that guide, though, because it's in, like, Vietnamese. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this um, once again, and for the last time, I promise, if you guys have not seen this playthrough and still don't know what's going on, check out the playlist. I know it's, like, 11 hours, but, you know, whenever you find time and want to watch a playthrough of mine that I guess I can say I enjoyed, I guess, I don't, I don't know. I feel like it's one of my better playthroughs, so if you want to check that out, uh, definitely go ahead and do so. And if you have enjoyed this video and the return of Flora Sky... Be sure to leave a like as those are always appreciated. So thank you all for watching and see you guys next time.